Mr. Speaker, my question is to the Minister for Communications. Does the Minister have confidence in the leadership of the Australia Post CEO and its board? The members on my left, the member for Cowan, the minister has the call. Oh, well, I do thank the shadow minister for her question about Australia Post. This has been a very, very busy time for Australia Post, with parcel volumes up by a very high percentage. And of course, Australia Post has been able to respond, thanks to the temporary regulatory relief we provided, by moving uh, 2,000 staff. Uh, posties to being able to deliver parcels so Australians can get their parcels when they need it. With millions of Australians at home, they need their parcels. Now, that was no thanks to the other side of the House who tried to stop that sensible change. Uh, well, I uh, thank uh, the Speaker for the opportunity to continue to address the question, which is of course of importance to all Australians, which is what would we expect of Australia Post at this very challenging time? What would we expect of Australia Post? board and management at this challenging time. And what we'd expect them to do is to be able to respond to a difficult set of business circumstances where essentially overnight they face challenges like uh, most of the scheduled airline services in Australia ceased. Now Australia Post uses uh, scheduled airline services in normal times to deliver parcels and letters all around the country. So what have they done? They have chartered more than 10 aircraft which are flying around the country to keep Australians served. They've dealt with the challenge that because of the uh, very ha heavy-handed lockdown in Melbourne, all of a sudden there were very intense restrictions on the number of people who could be employed in the sorting centres. Now that had an impact not only in services in Victoria but all around Australia because uh, the core of their sorting operations are in Victoria. Uh, so these are the kinds of business and operational questions you would expect a capable board and a capable management to deal with, and that really is what they've been focused on. We've seen uh, revenue of $7.5 billion this year. We've seen a very sharp increase in the volume of parcels being delivered as Australians in their millions have been at home, have resorted to e-commerce, and of course Australia Post has a very large market share when it comes to delivering parcels. So I think in terms of their response to uh, the demand for parcels, in terms of the adjustments they're making so that staff can be redeployed to the areas of growth, uh, a, a very sensible proposition which was put forward by Australia Post board and management and which the government had no hesitation in supporting, I think we can say that Australia Post is dealing with a difficult set of challenges, but in doing that they have responded well to meeting uh, the needs of Australians. I think all of us can ask, do we have confidence in the board and management of Australia Post? And we say on this side of the House, what a radical proposition. Let's judge them by the actual quality of the services and the outcomes that they're delivering. And that's what we do on this side of the House.